Okay, so we got a math problem here, and I'd like to see if you can solve it, right? So just a quick challenge, uh, and if you uh, obviously want to know how to solve it and you're not quite sure, just stick around in a few minutes. I'm going to show you how to solve this basic time and speed distance type of problem. Very common uh, problem that you would probably uh, learn in maybe middle school. But um, anyways, here is the problem. We have a car. It's going 80 miles per hour. All right, so in some places in the United States, that's a legal speed limit. But obviously, we know that cars regularly go 80 miles per hour on the highway. All right, so here's a car. I want to know how far it travels in five minutes. Okay, so from... From this point to this point, how many, let's call it miles, did it go in five minutes at this particular speed? So that is the problem. Um, if you think you know how to solve it, you know, I would encourage you to pause the video and play around with it for a second. Uh, but we're going to get into some important concepts that I think everyone should kind of know. It's, it's kind of like practical math and a real uh, nice word problem to review for any of you out there that are learning basic math, algebra, or beyond. Okay, so let's get to it. So the first thing we need to know is the relationship between speed, time, and distance. So let's just go back up here to our situation, right? What, what's going on? Well, we have a few things involved. We have uh, speed, okay? All right, so we can call this speed. Speed is also known as maybe the rate the car is traveling or even the velocity, okay? So there are some technical differences um, out there. I don't want to get into it uh, in this video because it's really not necessary, but speed, rate, velocity, uh, that's one uh, thing here, right? So we got miles per hour. Now, another uh, variable going on here is time. All right, so we're talking about time, okay? And then we have distance, all right? We want to know the distance. So we have these different factors going on, distance, time, and speed, or rate, or velocity. So we need a formula, okay, and, uh, to kind of tie all these in uh, together. And this is the formula, right? You definitely want to commit this to your long-term memory, and it goes like this, rate multiplied by time. Rate times time is equal to distance, all right? Rate times time is equal to distance. Now, one thing that I'm going to stress, uh, we're going to solve this basic problem here in a second, is when you use a formula like this, you got to really pay attention to the units of measure, okay? Units of measure, and I'm going to stress that big time with this particular problem. All right, so here's the formula. Right, your rate or your speed or your velocity, right? you, could, uh, you could put speed or velocity here. And then obviously uh, multiplied by the time is equal to the distance, right? Okay, so here's the formula. If you think now you can get this problem right, you're like, okay, now I, need, I just needed the formula. I forgot the formula. Go ahead and uh, do the problem, right? So real, real quick, again, got this car that's going 80 miles per hour. That's its speed or its rate, okay? Uh, and in five minutes, how far did it go? What was the distance uh, traveled? All right, so let's get down to the solution. Hopefully you have an answer, and here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways uh, to approach this problem, and there's probably even other ones uh, here, but here is um, other uh, approaches to it, but I really wanna stress units of measure here. So I already kind of uh, wrote out this work. So let's just kind of follow along with what I did. All right, so here we got to know the formula. Rate times time is equal to distance. So what's the rate of the car? It's 80 miles per hour. So let's just don't uh, focus on what I'm, you know, I know I kind of wrote some stuff down here, but just focus on what I'm writing right now. So we have 80 miles per hour for the car, all right? And the time that car uh, traveled was five minutes. So you know, most of you are probably thinking, okay, if I just multiply rate times time, that's going to be the distance. And so that would make sense. However, we have to uh, really do some modification here, all right? Because now, a couple things here. Uh, 80 miles per hour, okay? Let's talk about this. We're, what are the units of measure? Well, we have miles, okay? That's distance per hour. We have hour right here, Okay. So this is an hour we're talking about, and this is in minutes, okay? So we're given our speed 
in terms of an hour, but our time traveled is in terms of a minute. This is a problem, okay? So when you're working with a formula like this, you have to get the same units of measure. So we have a couple different options. I can express five minutes in terms of an hour, how much of an hour is five minutes. I can rewrite this time in terms of an hour, or I can uh, rewrite this rate in terms of minutes, okay? So just kind of follow along with uh, uh, what I'm doing here, and you'll see how this works, okay? This is a real common uh, misunderstanding uh, with uh, students applying this formula. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and, and, and uh, change this here. So 80 miles per hour, right? 80 miles per hour means what? Well, this miles per hour literally means miles. This is the miles. It's, this is a fraction. This is per. This is what we call a rate. Okay, miles per hour. In one hour, okay, mile. It, what, this car goes 80 miles per. That's the little fraction bar. One hour. Okay, that's what that means. But we know that one hour is equal to what? Well, it's the same as 60 minutes, right? So we could say, okay, this car goes 80 miles in 60 minutes. Well, it's just easier to say 80 miles per hour, right? That's how we, we talk about this. But here's the thing. I want to change this to minutes. I want to get rid of this hour and change it to minutes because my time is given to me in minutes, okay? So when we do that, we have 80 miles. The car is traveling 80 miles per 60 minutes. And now uh, how far did it go in five minutes? This is the fraction, this is the multiplication we want to set up, right? So here is our rate. Our time is five minutes. Now I want you to see here that we have minutes here in a denominator and minutes in the numerator. So the minutes are going to cross cancel, okay? And what unit are we left with, all right? So in other words, when you multiply fractions, right? So we have 80 here. Let me do it this way here. So we have 80 miles okay, times five minutes over 60 minutes, okay? The minutes cross cancel. So when you multiply fractions, remember you, you multiply across like so, right? Numerator times numerator, denominator times a denominator. So you would end up with something like this. So the minutes cross cancel, right? And what are we left with? Miles, okay? So miles is going to, remember, the formula is your rate times the time is equal to distance. So miles is a unit of measure for distance. And when you do this number crunching, you get around 6.66, eh, we'll just round it up to 6.67 miles, okay? So that is the answer. And if you got that right, that's excellent. Okay, and if you understood uh, the units of measure and everything else, if, I mean, if you got it right, if you got the, a number, but you weren't quite sure how you got there, then that's pretty good. But you always want to know how, to, how you, you know, you want to be in command of like, oh, yeah, here's the process. Here's, you know, how we uh, solve this problem. All right. Now, let's take a look at the same situation. But this time, we'll change the time. So we have 80 miles per hour times our five minutes is going to give us our distance, right? Now, again, we have the same issue. We have hour and minute. So let's try it. This time, let's just go ahead and represent 80 miles per hour just as 80, okay, miles. This is 80 miles. This is the per, okay, 80 miles per one hour, right? So that's what that means. This car will go 80 miles every hour it travels, 80 miles per one hour. So we always write this rate as a fraction, just like so. But we want to get rid of the minutes and express five minutes in terms of an hour. So how much of an hour is five minutes? Well, five out of 60 minutes, that is the, the fraction. That's how much uh, uh, one hour is, okay? Or five minutes is five out of 60 hours, okay? So it's obviously not a full hour, it's five out of 60 hours. But if you look here, we're getting the same uh, values here, right? We get 60 in our denominator, just as we had here, and five in the numerator. And when you multiply across, look what happens again. The hours cross cancel, and I love with miles, okay? And we get the same answer, 6.67 miles, yeah, approximately. 
Okay, so uh, basic uh, motion problem, rate times time equals distance, very, very common. Absolutely should know this formula. For any of you out there studying math, rate times time equals distance. I'm talking about middle school math and beyond. Keep this memory, put it in your back pocket, <laughs> in your long-term memory. But when you're using, I'm sorry, keep this uh, formula. But um, when you're using this formula or any formula at that, any formula, one of the main takeaways I want you to get from this video is you have to know how to work with the units of measure. That's what messes students up probably the most, okay? So if you made this mistake and you're like, oh, okay, 80 times five, I guess that's a, you know, 400, you know, miles. Does that make, I mean, just look at your answer. Like, oh, does that make sense? All right, so 80 times five, 400, no, that's, that's crazy, right? Because this car is going to be able to go 80 miles every one hour. But if you made that mistake, don't feel bad about it because a ton of people watching this video, I'm sure, made that, that same mistake or maybe didn't even know what to do in the first place. Okay. Really good practical formula to know even in your travels, etc. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, let me just uh, uh, introduce myself. I don't think I did in the beginning. If you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And if you really want to check out my full math instruction, uh, I'm going to leave a link to my learning program in the description of this video. But uh, also, I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out as well. So hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. And if you love this video or enjoyed it or, you know, it was like, oh, yeah, it was okay, please cons uh, consider smashing that like button. All right, so that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.